Hello, World Tank Blitters. It's a little finger, and today I'm going to be doing a video on how to play auto loaders. Uh, yes, hope you guys are enjoying the heat and steel event that's going on right now. Uh, first week of August, you know, these events always bring out interesting players and what I realized is my way to deal with this is to play auto loaders. I've had a lot of success this past couple days playing auto loaders, and I just thought, you know, might be a good idea just to talk about some tips and tricks to play auto loaders a little bit better. World of Tanks Blitz features three gun reloading systems standard, auto loading, and auto reloading. So for this video, I'm just focusing on the second one, the auto loaders. And you can see here with Blitz Stars uh, on the right here, you pretty much first come into this truly with the AMX 12T. This is a French light tank that takes you all the way to tier 10. So you can say three shells in a clip um, and you're reload time is 16.1 second 2.5 seconds in between your shots you've got some other tanks at chi re t71 t69 we start getting into the american mediums um and then there's a defender and i'm sure i've missed a couple here uh we look at the tier nines and tier tens again the bat chat goes all the way to tier 10 uh, you've got the AMX 50B and T57, both nice heavy tanks, and that's what we're going to focus on. What I want to point out using Blitz Stars here is your damage per minute numbers are going to be a little bit higher than a true heavy tank, but they're going to be lower than mediums and TD, so you can't brawl in these tanks. That's really a very important thing to know. And part of the reason is you have such a long reload. Let's take the T57, 19 seconds to reload all three shells in that clip. But once you do, you can do three shells in five seconds doing 1,200 damage. And then if we look at the aim time, aim time on these are really nice. Dispersion's really nice. Um, so this sets these tanks up for being snipers in the beginning of the game and then just depleting enemies at the end of the game when they're middle to low health tanks. And so let's see how we put this together in some gameplay. So I'm going to show a few clips and some few full games and I'm probably going to repeat myself multiple times here. But uh, just to do that, just to get the point across, and we're going to speed up the beginning of this game because, you know, one of the first things that I do in the auto loaders, and this is why I think that's helped me in the event, is that it forces me to play a little bit more passive up front uh, because you, you know, you don't have great armor in any of these tanks, and because you want to conserve your hit points. And, you know, I preach that every game. Uh, it's critical. You you know, you can't win a game in the first minute of a battle, but you can certainly lose it. Um, you know, uh, we've already lost a tank. I mean, that's, that's just ridiculous. You know, you can't YOLO in like that. Um, so, to my first point is let uh, the, your teammates take the damage, right? Um use the fact that you've got multiple shells you can do this burst damage unfortunately i missed my first and we hit our second so we're sitting at 724 damage um, and what i want you to take note of here is i've got the ass end of an e3 here so uh, we're gonna think about loading he um, but, but as soon as he starts turning towards me look at that 644 yeah so I now have one HE round left, and this is really critical, guys. Um, be wary of how much ammo you have for each ammo type, because what's going to happen here is, you know, obviously we're closing in, and it's four on three, and I've reloaded my full clip. I've got three shells ready to go, and as I move on up here, the Waffentrager is going to be my first target, so I'm like, ooh. Let's switch over to HE, right? Well, what happens when I do that? I now have one shell because I only have one HE shell. So I have just wasted two shells just like that. And now we're on a long reload. Um, and I did switch back to AP, hoping that those three shells would re those two missing shells would re AP. That's not how it works, guys. So big tip number one there is make sure you know uh, you have 
enough ammo to fill out a full clip. Um, but again, you know, just having this wonderful burst damage, uh, we can get rid of tanks pretty quickly at the end of the game. So we've stayed in the back. We've tried to clip out as many people as we could early. And then once these tanks are half life, you know, we push in. And I'm trying to use my damage here for a shield so we can keep this other tank alive. Um, and uh, thankfully he left that Waffentrager behind to help me out. Um, and uh, not sure why he's not dead, but okay. So we've got two shots left. Get both of those in. We'll get a little extra damage here on the ram, knowing that he's just shot. And the AMX-30 can finish him off. And... The lovely thing about these auto loaders is the surprise you get at the end when you go, holy crap, I didn't realize I did that much damage. Alright, so here's a game I had in the AMX 50B, and you know, to repeat myself multiple times in this video, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, looking around like uh, I'm new to the game or something, I don't know. Um, but I'm allowing time for my other tanks to get out ahead of me. Um, just to reinforce that staying in the back letting your gun work as a really accurate sniper tank to you know hopefully dish out some big numbers unfortunately here that standard B is just not showing us enough and we're overly aggressive here and trying to get these shots off and uh, yeah there's so there's a complete flubbing and another thing to note is we had one shot in the shell there right we don't have any targets, so let's go ahead and use this time right now to reload um, while we don't have any targets. And that's that is probably the number one thing with with playing these tanks. And uh, this is just a dumb part on my part because I'm sitting broadside in a French quote unquote heavy tank that's got no armor on the side. And again, we find ourselves in a situation with only one shell and no targets. So we're going to manually force that reload by clipping, by pushing on the the shell, the AP button. And again, you know, we, we're reloading, we're reloading. Um, but the point I want to, you know, emphasize here is with this autoloader and this burst, We've got ourselves a nice juicy target. Switch over to HE. And we dish out 1500 damage in 6 seconds. Um, and we end up doing 3k and that was half of our damage. We ended up doing 3k and winning this game. Alright guys, so here's a game on Rockfield. Unfortunately, Rockfield doesn't really have too many positions where you can be effective uh, sniping from mid-range. So I'm going to push up to the nook here on the map and uh, just kind of let things unfold, see where my team goes, and uh, going to try to maximize damage on, you know, uh, one target. Focus fire is what obviously it's called in the game, um, and, and see how we can best do that. Uh, oftentimes I'll go kind of down the, the left side there and see what's spots up but you can get in trouble sometimes 59 Patton peeks over the ridge line there and, and I just take a wild shot uh, nothing happening so we're just gonna go ahead and reload this is gonna allow time for our slow <laughs> going tanks and this is what I'm talking about you know if I'd have pushed up to that ridge line or somewhere else I could have really have been in some serious trouble so um, P44 Pantera Obviously, you can see he's got three shells loaded. He's ready to go. Um, and I want to get over here with him and and help him out. And with us being able to, you know, essentially put six shots on somebody, um, just watch what we do here to this poor RU. And this is, you know, Mashu. That's, that's a good clan. And now we're getting blocked being able to retreat by an E75. Gotta love events right but focus fire uh, that you can do very effectively in this tank with another auto loader or auto reloader 
So here we are, Alpine Stott, bottom tier in the T54 E1. Again, I'm going to repeat myself every single game on this, guys. I am staying towards the middle of the pack or the back of the pack early on so that hopefully I can, you know, use my burst speed of shells to get some significant damage. I'm turning, I'm looking which way we're going. Okay, we're going left. And that way it gives me good cover so that I don't hopefully take too much damage early on in the game. And then I can use my damage plus my burst speed to take out tanks towards the end of the game. So at least in this game here we've got some heavies that are willing to move forward. A little bit better than on that Rockfield game. But, you know, you've got a T-57 here that has uh, decided to try to cross over. It's a bad mistake. And we're going to get two shots into him. And we've got this building that is covering us from any return fire. So it allows us to use that time for a long reload. Now, if you look at the minimap, I am at the back. Um, and so... Since not all seven have spotted, that is still a concern to me. Um, I am aware that uh, there could be a tank or two that is not spotted here that could be coming from my right. And that's when the IS-4 gets spotted. So I'm going to move up to this bush here and see if we can't get some shots into him. Uh, but we just don't have the gun depression to get that small lower plate. And unfortunately, we're only going to get one out of those three shots to go. Uh, so that was not a good trade. I'm looking to see where my help is. And I've just backed up too far and take another unnecessary shot. You know, I'm tier bottom tier. Um, but I'd want to try to get these in using AP so I do more damage. And uh, there we go. We do have to take APCR on that last shot, but we've left them with four friggin' hit points. But as you'll see from the score there, we've got 1,800 damage already, which is you know, obviously not bad. Um, and, uh, you know, not sure if I could have really penned that. I think it was an E3. And this is where I want to get to my other point. Know how much damage you can do with a full clip, right? So we are in the T-54E1. We do 310 damage per shot on average times three shots. So 930. Uh, so we've got a tank here at 920. If all things go right, we should be able to finish him off. And unfortunately, I took a big shot up the butt there. Luckily, he misses, um, but you can see he's going to get two shots in, but miss one in the time that we can get three shots off, leaving us with 178 hit points. So um, it's always good to know, can I clip out a tank, right? So know that ahead of time. Don't do the math in your head uh, as you're charging at him. Uh, know, hey, look, I'm going to do about 900 damage. He's at 900. If he is at 1,200, don't do it, because um, he is going to out-DPM you. And again, I was just waiting for, so that 183 didn't see me, and uh, figuring I'd sneak up behind this E3 here in Cat, but uh, he's already headed my way. And as he turns towards me, we both shoot and kill each other. But, you know, 3K as bottom tier, uh, certainly a nice little game there, second highest in damage. And that's what I love about auto loaders. You're just surprised at the end of the game. All right, back on New Bay in the T-54 E1. This time we are top tier. Uh, we're going to start this off a little bit fast here just to, to get through the positioning again. You know, trying to stay towards the back, not pushing too, too aggressively. Uh, and... You know, so we've, we've talked about a lot of things. Knowing how many shells you have. Uh, this tank's a little different because you've only got two ammo slots. 
but in this video I kind of really want to just talk about being able uh, to use hardcover uh, because you do have such a long reload you know wherever you position yourself on the map make sure that you've got cover from just about all positions if at all possible and this Progetto pulls up I'm not realizing that I'm an auto loader and we get full clip into him so we're already at 847 damage and again I've got these containers here as my hard cover should I need it um, something you'll see a couple times in this video here my tank stops um, I'm still trying to get used to my new iPad Pro and uh, sometimes it registers that I've lifted my finger when I haven't and I'm still dealing with that um, but again here we go back to our position of hard cover and we just tuck on in there we're nice and safe and we're gonna reload now this is a full health T-54 I don't really want to take him on because um, I know he's going to he, he's gonna have about the same DPM as me provided he's uh, not running a gun rammer and I don't know so you know I want to get over and uh, try to help my teammates here um, but both of those guys get behind cover and this pesky little T-54 comes up on me again and I just flub all of these shots I mean like totally and again you're gonna see um, in the heat of the moment here <laughs> we're just gonna stop moving um, and he kills my engine and it happens again and it's like oh my god it's it is kind of frustrating but uh, you know we have conserved our hit points and that is the key here and we're gonna get a nice lucky bounce here Whew. Um, so three on T2 two, right it's looking pretty good two on two two on one well it's a full health T54 again alright and I've only got 700 hit points and um, we bounce the first one okay this is not looking great where's my help where's my help alright glacial um, you know if you want to get in here so I know he's on a longer reload than me I've got a shot ready so I want to get this one in uh, we track him again um, alright glacial your turn go do some damage alright um, you gonna shoot are you gonna sh yeah you're gonna shoot but you're not gonna do any damage and that just happened seriously so I'm back on this T-54 but look we get all three shots in and he misses his shot right so he's got a two shot us uh, we just have to stay alive long enough to reload I figure I can reload but he's got my ammo rack we repair it and we get a nice max roll there to finish that game off clutch uh, lucky ammo rack there to make that even closer than it should have been but 3400 damage All right, guys, this is the last game I'm going to show. And you know what? I'm going to cover the damage badges so you don't know how much damage I'm doing this game. And, um, you know, I want you to just think at the end of the game how much damage you think it is. Um, and you might be surprised. Uh, hopefully you're not counting shells, but you're listening to me. Um, and I just want to go over the things that we discussed. That first clip there, I showed you a huge mistake I made um, in the T-57, I had one HE shell remaining. I had a fully loaded clip of three AP rounds, and I came up on a Waffentrager, and I wanted to shoot HE at it, so I switched over to HE just on, you know, I mean, that's impulse is what I do, right? Um, but what that did was it took those three shells that were in the clip and... <laughs> Um, turned him into one shell in the clip and so when I shot and missed um, I had a full reload on my hands and then you know we talked about knowing your burst damage and knowing when to attack an enemy and when not to we talked about um, using cover 
while you're reloading because these tanks do have a horribly long reload and as you can see there so we've got a couple clips unloaded uh, we did take a big shot from that ISU and probably the most important is really just knowing when to force that automatic reload of you know if you've taken one shot or two shots and you're not gonna have any targets for 15 20 seconds then hey you know hit hit that auto reload hit the shell button to force a reload um, so that you don't get up to your next target and only have one shell in the magazine and if you can do all of those things by kind of staying towards the back of the map early conserving your hit points and then in a case like this where you know the battles pretty much over uh, it's just uh, cleanup duty you know you can come in to a tank like the KPF here and Panzer and um, you know just unload three shells into him so you know it's been a very pretty quick game uh, we did pretty good on getting shots on target um, and so I'd like to know honestly guys if you leave a comment uh, how much damage do you think has been done in this game tier 9 we get one more shot there um, and so I've really found that this has helped me in this uh, event look at that 4,000 damage it's you get to the end of the game and you haven't paid attention to how many shells have landed uh, 13 shells landed um, so auto laters are a great part of this game hopefully you've learned a few tips on how to play them a little bit more efficiently and uh, you know, enjoying this heat and steel event. And of course, guys, having fun out there. Stay safe. Get educated, not fingered. Little finger out.